I'm going to tell you the story of how my Instagram got deleted and disabled for no reason except for my competitors being a-holes. So about a month ago, I got an email from Instagram saying that I had violated their regulations by using another brand's trademark. This trademark from this brand, let's just say their name begins with L and they end with Phi, and they're a massive corporate business in America. So they reported my content to say that I had been using the phrase DIY eyelash extension. And they're saying that they own the rights for DIY eyelash extension, which is not true. You can't own the rights of that phrase because it's like saying, I own the rights of hair straightener. It's too broad. You can't, no one in the world is ever gonna be able to own DIY lash extension. So I spoke to my attorney who I put my trademark through and she checked everything. She says, yeah, they've, they've tried to apply for this trademark, but they don't have it. It's been in the works since like 2019. But what they have done is notice that you own Underlash in Australia and they've now tried to apply for Underlash as a trademark. So just to note, they did this about five weeks ago in Australia and then they started reporting my content from then. So they've obviously only just found my business, saw that I'm a competitor, which is mad. There is billions of people in the world. I am a very small business. It's just me. I'm not a huge corporate. And they've seen me as a threat. They've gone in and tried to claim Underlash as a trademark in Australia. And then they've gone ahead and started to report all of my content. So when I got this email, I wrote back to Instagram with a letter from my attorney just saying that this is not correct. Anyway, I had a, a robot write back to me saying that the content that I'm asking for them to put back on, which was taken down, never got removed. It did get removed, but I just ignored it because I thought maybe it's just a glitch or something. There's so much fraud going around at the moment. I even got a message the other day asking me to confirm my account or I'm going to lose my account. Oh, it's just very stressful at the moment of all the fraud. Anyway, so I ignored it, went on holiday, came back three weeks later and woke up to my account being disabled and will be deleted in 30 days unless I contact Instagram. So basically, it's been removed because they reported my, my stuff and said that I've been violating their trademark. But what this has done to me and my little business is now I use that platform as my main marketing tool and I can't get hold of the gram and it's just been deleted. Like, how is that fair? And why, if you're watching this, la fi, just stay in your own lane. I'm in the Australian pool, like you're in the American pool. Like, don't be like that, that's so silly. It's all about, I'm up for bringing women up. Stop dragging people down. Oh, anyway, so that is the story. And it's very upsetting because there's nothing I can do about it. I just have to wait and see if my account back up, which sounds very unlikely at the moment. So if you have had this on your For You page, please follow my TikTok account because I'm gonna to have to start a new IG account if you're interested in DIY lash extensions. Better not say that because I might get in trouble.